Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming into an issue with Microsoft Word. It says that there's insufficient memory or disk space, Word cannot display the requested file. So the first thing I would suggest would be to open up the Word document on a different computer that has Microsoft Office. So whether you want to send it via email to yourself or we have a removable flash drive, I would suggest trying to open up the file on a different computer and see if it's an issue with the file itself. In that case, it might actually be a corrupt file. However, if you're coming into this issue and there's a chance that it has to do with the application itself, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it. So we're going to jump into it and start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in programs. Best match should come back with add or remove programs. Left we'll click on that one time. And you want to scroll down on the apps and features until you get to Microsoft Office Professional or whatever version of Microsoft Office you're running. Left click on that one time. Add in left click on modify. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. It's going to ask how would you like to repair your office programs. You want to select quick repair, fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. And then left click on repair. And then left click on repair one more time. It should take a couple moments to run here, so just be patient. Once it's done, it should say done repairing. We finished repairing your office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. Left click on close. We suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.